Yeah. Childhood. It was such an adventure then. I mean, even playing in a back garden or over a bit of wasteland. It was such a big adventure then. It was like exploring the Amazon or the Rocky Mountains, anything. Sure, you can run exactly. Yeah. I had a fascination for building sites. It's just like bulldozers up and things like that. And set things on fire and explore old houses and nick barges and like and everything, playing the sanatorium. Well, what are you carrying? Yeah, but he's after this. We used to always look for old houses and always exploring, going down old cellars. It was like curiosity, really. There was always that danger element of what was in there, waiting in that dark cellar. Or would the police catch us? The things that kids find interesting, the ones that spoke from their imagination yeah. and their fears. Yeah. Yeah. Grab it, grab it. No, grab it, I ain't grabbing it. Put it in the couch. Stick it in the couch. Pass it there. Yeah. Pass it. <laughs> Come on. Wait there. Oh my life. What's it like? No, but she's taken up, isn't it? <laughs> when I was extremely mischievous, I was. I got up to everything. And I was the scourge of parents, because I always used to get into trouble and stuff. They always used to tell me, you know, you can't play with him. And I was never allowed in their houses and that. It was all an adventure. But then it's it all tense, have a look. I was drunk one day and I, I went running round the Asda, making a fool of myself, and I ended up coming out with a brown independent for some inane reason. Are you? Hold it! Then I saw this copper car coming down the bank, so I just sat down and he says, you sure this is them? And I just got in the police car and says, come on then, take me away. You know, just had enough, I'm all bothered. And I went to court and just sent me down, three months. Harper! Stand there. Listen carefully, everything I ask you. Answer yes or no. And uh, if I say anything wrong, let me know straight away so that we get the facts correct. Yes, sir. Your name is Paul Harper. You're yes, age 20. Born the 2nd of the 3rd, 1965. Church of England by religion. Unemployed by profession. Is that true? Yes, sir. What, what's the colour of your eyes? Very, sir. Have you got to go back to court in the future for any other offences? No, sir. Have you got any glass eyes? False teeth? No, Anything that if you jump up and down or fall off. Eyes! Front! Braid will move to the right. Right turn. Stand at ease. Keep still, keep quiet. As soon as you come into Watton, whether you're good or you're rotten, in for burglary, assault or deception, you leave yourself behind. In reception. <laughs> they put your individuality in a box. Then cut off your locks, Watton style. Give you Watton pants, Watton socks, none like the ones in your box. Then they lead you down a corridor and into a hall, full of noise and Watton boys who pop questions like, what are you in for? Where are you from? What's your name? They'll walk the same, eat the same, dress the same, and even fart the same. This place drives me insane. So what have you been doing then? Not a lot. No, got a gate pass today. Honest? <laughs> I've been outside, painting windows. <laughs> and looking across the fields and farms, wondering whether it's a leg it or not. That was stupid. Nah, I'm not joking. I found a pear tree. I had a first, I tell you. I must have scoffed at those 20 pears. I'll have a bad stomach. <laughs> I doubted it's galping with a swollen ear. It's bad enough. Not long to get out. No. Four weeks, three days. All in Watton Thames. Four weeks, two days, and a day in the brick. 
seems like a fucking lifetime. Never mind. What have you been doing anyway? Been out much? I've been out with Karen most of the time. Mm. Into 19s and the starting gate. So. Thinking about going tonight. I think I'll have a quiet night in myself. What's your mate doing in the toilets? He's been in there for half an hour now. Oh, I don't know. I hope you ain't up to anything in there. Oh, what are you out now? If you ain't out in five minutes, you're all out. Get him out now. You ain't took your time. Where you been? The box. The box was gonna throw us out if you didn't come back. I'm back now. I was saying down here to weed, dear. How come he took so long? I wore that long. What was he doing in there? Did you think I was doing in there? How are you feeling, mate? Good gear, is it? I'm all right. You don't look it. Tired, that's all. I think I'll get me a damn for an hour. He doesn't look very well, does he? Does he ever? Junkies never do look very healthy, though, do they? What are you on about? Oh, come on, don't you know what he's been doing in there? He's been on drugs. Good God, how thick can you get? He can count with it. Yeah, picture a good healthy. He's positively <coughs> investing with life. He's just having a kid. Ryan, get up. What's the matter with him? I don't know. He ain't moving, though. He's messing you about. Isn't he? I don't think so. Brian, stop messing about now. Come on. Come on, get up. Come on. Shit, something's up here. He's <laughs> not coming round. Shit, man, what's going on? I don't know. What's the matter with him? I don't know. Maybe he's having a hand with him. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> oh, I've told you, no sleep. He's not out. very well. What's he doing in that state? He's fell and banged his head. Why don't some customers come in while they're the same? I don't give a shit about your customers. What about him? Fetch some water and throw it on him quick. Who's going to clean it up? I think we'd better get him an ambulance. Somebody go, pal! Why? Oh, no. What do you want an ambulance for? He's only banged his bloody head. So we get some water? Yeah, good idea. Don't you see that? Do you something! Do you want to do? it now! I found for an ambulance twice. Who is he? <gasps> Not too good. Oh, shit, what are we going to do? It's not breathing, look! Oh, shit! Come on. Come on! There's nothing you can do, mate! Come on! Derelict. So that's, well, that's what it looks like. I mean, if you drive through Darlaston, the first things you'll see as you enter the town are derelict factories, waste grounds where factories used to be. It's called the Black Country because there was such a lot of industry and a lot of smoke. There was a lot of big coal mining industry at one time. And it was mainly the steel trade and around Darlist in particular it was a big nut and bolt trade. When I was a child, when I was little, in the morning, dinner time, the evening, you used to hear the bells go, the hooters, for the factories and the town would be full of men. I mean, no, there's nobody. There's no women, no children, no men. I'd like to see it all bulldozed down, let's see some fields for a change. Because it's just, it just hasn't worked. I miss the busyness and not, like the, the humming of the factories at night when you're in bed. I miss it anyway because I was like brought up on air in that. Looks like a bomb's dropped. There's nothing anymore. No sign of anything either. There's no sign of any jobs on the horizon for people. They're just schemes. Yesterday, uh, Richards, Martin Williams. Yes, Gay. Yes, Gay. Uh, the Watson Daddies. The Boneyard. Why was it called the Boneyard? Did they used to make that bone glue or something like that? Yeah, they called it the Boneyard because uh, the money that they paid for the yeah. job. You had to have any blood bones with it. <laughs> 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 um, the same as they used to call the uh, Richards, they used to call that Woolworths. Because at Woolworths then there was nothing over a tanner. Uh, and uh, there was robbery and ruin. Uh, you know what about robbery and ruin? Robbery and ruin. That was robbery and ruin, was it? Yeah. Yeah. Now, the conditions was really atrocious in them days, wasn't it? Yeah. Really atrocious. 
Yeah, 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 no, uh, there was no safety rules. Edinburgh. Yeah, yes, Edinburgh. But Edinburgh ran your waist when you was working. And, and you fit, if no, no, you're you're fit, you're you're no, you're no, 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 no protective clothing at all. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was, I was saying that one girl had a, had a right off. I bent yeah. down to pick some way compared to the automatic machines. Now that, and I got a lovely long hair. Uh, and as I bent down, it gets out of it. But then made me wear that soft, like net soft. <laughs> uh, the union started around about 1938, they, they come on. But if you always found out to be a member, it was a sack. In, in, instant sack. Instant dismissal. Well, like, um, it's subversive. The factories now where there's no union. No, no. Uh, but oh, no, no, my dad works in one where there's no union. W.G. Allen, Wensbury, there's no union. Ah, that's the worst thing. So, who's fault was it? Who's fault was it? Who's fault was it? Well, they was all interested in profits and not banging it back into the development. Who's greed? Is it the bosses? The is it the bosses? Or is it the workers? It had got to be the bosses' shareholders, wouldn't it? They were having the profits, yeah. not the workers. Mm. It's law, it's F.A. Lloyd, yeah. I've helped them down Lloyd. And, um, All the families could go around. Any of the around. families could go around. Well, any anyway, friends and families could go around the foundries and, and the, machines, the machine yeah. shop and the patent shop and that. And but the there used to be a good uh, horticultural show. No. And but the trouble was, most of the people who was winning the prizes weren't growing the stuff. There was a fella I knew who bought all this stuff off, off the police, Darleston Police, went to Darleston Police Station after that day show. He bought nearly all the stuff, all the produce from the Darleston Police Station show. Took it down to Lloyd's and won all the prizes and he had the call. <laughs> it's okay saying, like the elderly people, we made the most of it. Fair enough, they made the most of it. What about the next generation? What are they going to make the most of? The main thing I see from our bedroom window, which I look at now and then, is the police rioting like to keep civil disorder. You know, waiting, waiting for the slightest crack, training men with shields, Roman style shields and big sticks called truncheons. Training to actually eat people with these things and... Training to beat down any resistance. Any protest, yeah. any resistance. I was reading a piece in the paper the once, Steve showed it me, and it was his chief inspector that resigned and his reason was he saw innocent young men being turned into Nazi stormtroopers. Mm -hmm. And you look out my bedroom and you see them Nazi stormtroopers. It's like Steve says, this is the thinking generation. And uh, either something will be done or else there'll be a lot of lobotomies about. See, what, what's, got to, what's got to be seen is they've got to help us or lock us <coughs> up. Yeah. And they'd rather lock us up than help us. Just doesn't work. 